hit record. And welcome, welcome back. Um, I hope that this back-to-back -back call works. Um, actually, one of the things I talked about at Super Saturday um, was the fact that there was a time that I used to have a call Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday nights between new coach calls and then my team call and then push group calls and we've got like push to diamond groups going on and then my coaches call and the dream team call and I was literally like on calls every evening for five straight nights so I'm like you know what I've got to streamline this a little bit more and, and try to get like two calls in on one night to then not have a call another night but then Sunday night instead of doing the new coach call I ended up doing the, the kickoff and the challenge group call so I still had a call on Sunday anyways, but hello ladies, welcome back. Um, I really just wanted to talk a little bit more about recruiting for the challenge group that's coming up on Monday. Cause to me, that's really like your first thing as you're just starting out as a coach, you need challengers. Like obviously like the idea of, you know, recruiting more coaches under you who want to do what you do, like that's exciting. But I can tell you that the majority of my coaches come from challenge groups because they did a challenge group, they got results, or they loved the products, or they wanted the discount, and then they found out more about what the business was. Somehow, way, shape, or form, I'd say 90% of my coaches were tied to a challenge group first. So I feel that getting your challengers, especially when you are a challenger, I feel like it's easier and something you've already done. Like you've got a story about how you got started in your challenge group or how you, what you've done with products before, you know, whether it's a three day refresh or a round of the 21 day fix, like you've done something completion where you can talk about it. So at this point, your goal as you're first getting, you know, in this first challenge group that you guys will really be able to be a part of and, and invite into your role will be to get, at least, well, I used to always say three challengers. I guess at this point, if you're tying it to success club, you could essentially hit success club by getting two new challengers for the new group. But that's where I would focus it. And we did an activity um, at super Saturday that I thought was really beneficial but we sat down, actually, I have, I do, I have my note right here, which is not electronic, but I have my notes right here. Let's see here, move this. You can kind of see, if you look here in the center, this is my challenge group. And I'll read you what these say. But all these things on the outside, those are the posts. So when you think of, I'm sorry, my phone on my, so when you think of, like, you've got this goal in the middle, and there's a challenge group coming up. But the only way that you can act like recruit for that and fill your spots for that challenge group is by like your supporting, it's like your supporting evidence, your supporting posts. So start thinking about some things that you can share that are going to support that. So when I went through, I'm thinking, okay, so I've got a challenge group coming up on the 16th. Love the skin you're in is, is the, is the theme for that. So what are things that I need to make sure that I'm sharing? I need to launch the challenge group, which I launched it on Sunday night. I did a post on Sunday night saying, I've got this challenge group coming up. Um, shout out to current challengers, which wasn't exactly planned, but I ended up doing a shout out to one of my challengers last night because she just posted in the group how, you know, and I just screenshot it, but it was just a simple um, how she being able to just look in the group and see the motivation of the group helps her to just keep going herself, like how motivating it was. It was super simple. But like, that is something that somebody could read and be like, oh my gosh, like, I need that. Like, I need somebody that's going to help me get motivated and, and, and work out. So like, that was one of my posts. Another post that I'm planning on, on doing is a healthy appetizer recipe because um, in Pittsburgh, we've got the Steelers going to the playoffs this weekend. So it's something that's appealing that may not necessarily be you know, like a, you know, your typical oh, challenge group ad post, but something that would say, like, I have these healthy nachos that I made. Like, I basically just made chili with, like, a, like a, it was my whole 30 chili, but used it with tortilla chips. And it was delicious, and we topped it with jalapenos. I never even used cheese on it, but, like, they were great nachos. So that's my plan for, like, Sunday morning. Like, if you think that eating healthy and game day can't mix, like, here's a great recipe that I love. Here's what it is. You know, if you'd like to learn more about recipes and how you can stay on track through X, Y, and Z, then, you know, message me about my group that's going to start tomorrow. And while I have, like, the start date as the 16th, I'll continue inviting and messaging people and adding people through the 23rd. Because of on-demand, you've got access to it almost immediately. 
I mean, like, they'll be able to do their workouts pretty much as soon as they buy it. Even if they just buy a challenge pack and not the on-demand challenge pack itself, you can still have your 30-day trial of on-demand. So people don't necessarily have to wait for their challenge pack to come to get started understanding it, to get their pictures taken, to get, you know, understanding of the meal plan. So I, I've been... Like, I'll set that date, but then I'll still talk to people about it. Like, you know, if you are still interested, you know, today's your last chance. Or do, like, you know, I've got – I'm looking for three people to join me, and then a couple of days later you say I've got one more spot. Like, kind of – Jennifer, you did that with your clean eating group. You know, like, she did, like, a kind of, like, a last call to the clean eating group. It went from one person to nine people, then to 15. Because when you create the exclusivity of this group, it makes other people want it. Like, if there's only – three uh, three spots out there then people are going to want in on it so kind of think about that as you're trying to think about like wording for it and if you're somebody who likes to go live you could always go live and talk about the group there was jessica's not on here she actually signed up as a coach just yesterday or the day before but she went live today on her wall just talking about why she signed up as a coach talked about her transformation and, you know, said, like, if you want help, like, let me help you. Like, it's hard to do those things sometimes, but those are the things that people are like, okay, like, I know, I know her, I hear her, I hear what she's saying, like, I can relate to that. Like, okay, let's do it. So think about the things that you can do. A meal plan, sharing your meal plan. It can be so, it can be simple. It doesn't have to be complicated. But you can share that. Say you do it on Sunday, like, take a picture of it. If it's pen and paper, you can take a picture of, like, your nutrition book, and you can say, I'm sitting here meal planning. I'm excited to launch our preseason tomorrow in our challenge group. If you've been thinking about jumping in or you've been thinking about joining one of my groups, you know, I've got three spots left. Message me. I'd love to share more with you. And use those things that you're doing anyways, your workouts that you're doing, your meal plans that you're doing, you know, like, trend, like posts that you see or challengers share, whatever it is, those are the things that you can continuously just turn into your Facebook post and then add a little hook at the end because you need an action item. You can say how excited you are for, you know, to get your meal plan done. But if you don't add a little hook saying, if you'd like to join me, then message blah, blah, blah. Like you need that action item at the end. And I would aim to have an action item post like every day from tomorrow and tonight's a little late unless, wait, you, Jennifer, you an hour behind me too, right? And so is Katie, right? So you choose, I mean, it's not too late. To me, like 10 o'clock is pushing it as far as getting like an act, like an active post that I would want engagement on. But nine o'clock, I don't think is where you could, you know, try to get a, a post out from now until, you know, next Sunday, at least one a day, whether it's a recipe, a meal plan, you know, your psychology, sharing your own personal fitness, sharing a challenger. You could even share each other's like, we were in a challenge group together. Her results inspired me. Now we're running this challenge group together. You know, you should join us. You could tag each other in it, and then both of your people would see it. You, know, you could kind of do, you know, kind of bounce things, you know, use, use each other in the group here. But the more, like, if you can do it, and it might be like, oh, my gosh, like, how many more times can I say, message me to join my group, message me to join my group. But the people who see your post today won't necessarily see it tomorrow. The ones that see it tomorrow won't see it the next day. And if you post – one hook in the morning post and then another hook in your afternoon and then another hook in the evening and do a last call, you know, like a three spots left on Sunday and then a last call on Monday, like people will kind of follow it. And eventually they'll be like, all right, like I've seen every one of her posts. I'm going to do it. Like it's a sign. I should sign up now or at least message or ask for information. So it's, it's the continuous, like mess continuously posting about it that's going to get those eyes watching that are going to get them to get to that point where they're like okay let's do it so that's that my that's my goal for you guys in this next this next week is to continuously post about the upcoming challenge group and to get at least one person in that group if you've got one challenger in that group then i would consider that a success one new person and then you can work on two then you can work on three but start with one because I feel like it would be, you know, if you get too caught up and, oh, I need to get this many people, it can be, it can be more, you know, fussing over the little things. So, and we'll work, we'll work the group together and it'll be a four week group. We'll run it um, right up and through like the Sunday and Valentine's day. And, you know, the, your role in this group will just be to include someone and then provide support. You guys don't have to run this group. Your role will be more to like shadow it 
and see what I do. And then, you know, some of my coaches, and you don't have to do it with me either. I've had coaches who, Melissa Chavez has been a coach now for a year and a half. From the day that girl signed up as a coach, she never ran a challenge group with me. She was never even a challenger. She came into it from a business perspective. She took the scripts that I gave her and she was off and running with it. And I've never seen a single one of her challenge groups. She has hit success club every month since she started. Clearly she's doing something right. Jade, who's one of my best friends from, like we went to, they were babies together. She was in my challenge groups, I think for almost a year. And every month she'd be like, all right, I'm going to run my own this month. And then the month would start. She's like, I can't do it yet. I'm going to run mine with you. But next month I'm going to do my own. And it took a year. I mean, and she, she too, she's a success club legend. She's hit now 24 months. But those first 12 months where she was still hitting success club and bringing on new people every month, every month she piggybacked with me and ran the groups with me until eventually she felt comfortable enough to branch off and do it her own. So know that there's no right or wrong way to do it. You can do it however you feel comfortable. I'm here to help in any way that I can. But, you know, at this point, you just got to talk about it. Sharing, you know, the more that you can share that the group is coming, what you, what it's done for you personally, um, and what you know you can do to help other people, um, that'll be the key to to getting this started off right. So, do you guys have any questions? I know Amanda, you had a post up a couple of days ago that got a lot of traction on it for like for the health bet, right? Yeah, those were um, those were a lot of people that I taught with. Okay. How'd that go? Like, did anyone? Good. Yeah. Actually, um, I have one lady that I teach with. She's going to, I think, be joining the, um, the challenge group. Okay. And then she is interested in like purchasing Shakeology and doing that whole challenge pack. So, okay. um, I, that should be coming in the next couple of days or so. Okay. Cool. And then anyone who comments, like here's the other um, thing, and this was in, the success club. One, or, I, no, he's fine. Trust me. Um, and one of the success club or one of the videos up from super Saturday, but she talked about how it's just Jen Guthrie. She talked about how she tracks everybody who likes her comments on a post. And then like mm -hmm. as, as part of her nightly activity, and I have like a, a post that I had saved down at some point, but big picture, I just shoot a message, especially if it's a transformation post. Like let's say, you know, like for me, like I might post a transformation picture if it's myself or a challenger and I might get 20 likes and 19 of those likes might be for my coaches and customers, you know, like people who already, but then if there's someone on there who likes that picture, who isn't already like, we're not already connected in, in another way, I might message them and say like, hey, I just wanted to send a quick message and say thank you for liking my post. I don't know if you're interested in learning more about my upcoming challenge group or not, but putting myself out there is vulnerable. And I always get a little nervous when I do it, but every time I see support like you gave me, it makes me feel like I know that, you know, what I'm doing is, you know, the right thing or what I'm doing is at least helping someone or inspiring someone. So thanks for your support. And then you could end it with like a Thanks for your support. If you're interested in learning more, I'd love to share more. If you were just liking it to support me, thank you. But that's how you can kind of bridge that gap of somebody who likes your post, but you're like, I don't know why they're liking my post because I've never talked to them and they're not saying they want more information, but then why do they like my post? Like that simple message of just telling them, thank you. Like don't try to like throw a shout challenge pack down their throat. But if you just say, thank you for liking my support or liking my post, cause it's hard to throw myself out there. Uh, people are usually like, oh, yeah, like either I've been watching and I've been thinking of it or, oh, no, I didn't even read it. Because some people don't read it. They just like your post and that's okay too. Um, but the more you – like, I just have that as a copy-paste message in my notes. And that's something I'll do like at the end of the night is I'll, I'll get my thing all message and just a simple like, hey, thanks for liking my post and just kind of whatever post it was. But thanks for liking my post about my most recent transformation with quarter fours, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, you can at least, if nothing else, generate a conversation. And it may not immediately transform into anything, but you've started that conversation. Like, they liked your post, and now they're more likely to see more of what you're doing because you're interacting with each other on Facebook. So the more that you can do that, the more likely that, you know, it'll just generate more, more traction on your page and then obviously more customers down the road. And you guys have any questions? I'm glad you're all on. Final note is the Team Cup. I always first approach my brand new coaches if you would like to be on my Team Cup team. Um, big picture, our goal will be to hit Success Club um, and just work together to help get you guys 
moving forward, I always find that working with my new coaches, like you guys are all kind of at the same part in your business at this point, AKA just starting. So I feel like it's sometimes it's more helpful to kind of do it all together. So if you would like to participate in the team cup and would like to be on my team, let me know and I will get us registered. We'll just need one more spot. Um, go one more spot. So let's there's, some, there's some more information on the beach buddy, like coach page that I can read about. Coach you cup? Um, I don't know if there's... I'm, I'm a big person. I, I like to read things in words. I would think that there's an FAQ on it. Okay. I'll, I'll look for it. Check for it. I would think... I mean, the, they mentioned it in the Super Saturday video. So I would... And I tried to look because usually the video that they show at Super Saturday gets turned into a YouTube. And I looked for it and didn't see it yet. But I want to... I'll post that in the team page when we have it. Okay. Um, but yes, there should be an FAQ that just goes into you know, the registration and how it works and the prizes, like there's always like, you know, if you, if you cumulatively add as a team, you know, like let's say there's five of us, if we hit success club 30 as a team of five together and, and you've hit success club individually, then you earn your tier one prize. And if you together earn 50 success club points and you earn a tier two prize and then, you know, kind of tiers it that way from a prize perspective. And then you can usually earn more points like, if you rank advanced to Emerald, you get a point to that kind of stuff. So yeah, they're, they're, I'm sure there's no thank you. Right. Any other questions? Not for me. All right. No, Amanda? I think I'm, yeah. No, I think, yeah, I think we're good. All right. Hey, good night. Hey, good night. <laughs> oh. No. All right. Well, thank you guys for getting on. I appreciate it. I know it kind of makes a little bit of a longer night, but hopefully then you have the rest of your time to pound out power hours and get inviting and anything else you need to do. So thanks for getting on. I appreciate your time. Thank All you. Right, see you. Good night. Bye.